Hey, how's it going? Today I will show you how to install IPTV Smart OS application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. So first of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. It's actually free to use and free to download. You can get it from your official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store, depending on your device. Just go to your App Store and here in the search, start typing the loader. As you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Just click on the loader right here, and here's the application which you need to download to your device. However, that's not it, we still have to set it up, and to do so, we'll go to settings. So here they are, let's open them. Then go to My Fire TV, and here you have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and make sure to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now just go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, click on it. And here's the loader application, which you got right here. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because I got a great application for Fire Sticks or Android TVs, your phones, your laptops, or pretty much any other device. In the app, you just select any server, click on the connection button, and after you are connected, nobody can track you or snoop on you online, which is really important nowadays when internet laws are getting stricter and stricter every day. So if you want to stay out of trouble online and don't want your internet provider to track you to see what you are downloading on the internet or what you're watching, you definitely should use a VPN. And if you don't have a VPN yet, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing deal. So go get those 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. Then open the loader application. On the left side menu you have to click on home and here in that search bar we have to type a link. You'll see it on the screen in a moment. So here's the link iptvsmartors.com. You can see it on the screen so make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because otherwise the link is not going to work. And then just click on the go button. Then after the website loads, you have to scroll down a bit. And here firstly you'll see a newest version to download. You have to click on the APK button to start the download of the app. However, if for some reason you want to get the oldest version of IPTV Smarters, you can do that too, just scroll down a bit more and you'll see an option to download 2022 version of this application. However, for our tutorial we'll be using the newest version. So just click on the APK file. It works both for Fire Sticks or Android TVs, and now the download has started. Here just click on Install in the right bottom corner, and then after you install the app, it's going to appear right in the list of your applications. Now what I recommend you to do is click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way application is going to be at the very top of your app list, and it's going to be very easy to access it every time you need it. Now let's open the IPTV Smart OS application. Here you have to select your device type, since we're using a Fire Stick, we select TV, and then click on Save. Then you have to accept the license agreement. And from here it's really simple, so if you have an M3U playlist, you click on that button, and from here just enter any name for your playlist, and then either upload it as a file or as your usual M3U link, which you can get from your IPTV or live TV provider, then just input that link here. Alternatively, you can also use Xtreme codes, click on that option, add any name, then your username, password, and the link, which you can also obtain from your live TV provider. So pretty much it's really straightforward and really easy to use.